Welcome to Admin Setup for Users, the Tax Reporting Information section. Begin by selecting the Admin tab, scrolling down to Users, searching for your user, and then going to the Tax Reporting Information section. This section is critical for uh, setting up your users so their information is going to flow over to our reports. The begin date and end date are what's going to allow the user's information to show into the reports. If there is a report that has a drop down and you need to select users, if you do not have a begin date and an end date in here, then that user will not show in a report. And I will show you an example of that. If we go to reports, let's choose cash receipts. And you can see here, these are the users that we have to choose from right now. If I go back to my users page for this user, we will search for Peter Test. This will get us back to his user page. And now if we put a begin date and an end date in here, you will see how his information will now show. It's important to, if you are using Adam for payroll, that these begin dates and end dates need to be a Sunday. So we will do that. So we'll put the end date here. So now this user has a begin date and an end date, and we will go ahead and save it. Oopsie, yeah, I didn't even pick Sundays. So let's try that again. Okay, now I have them on Sunday, so it'll tell you if, if you don't choose Sundays. Okay, so we've now saved it, and now this employee has a begin date and an end date. And if we go to reports, go back to the cash receipts report, and now that user Peter test does show up in the users field. So what we usually do here in our office is if a user is done for the tax season or maybe they're not coming back next year, we will put an end date on there currently so then that user is no longer showing up. So if you're pulling reports, you don't want to pull up a whole bunch of people who aren't even working with you right now. Okay, we will be doing a um, whole separate section on payroll, but this is just going to be the basic setup for if you are using Adam for payroll. So if we click on the edit pencil for the federal withholding percentage, so this is a percentage, this is not based on the exemption, so if this employee just wants 10% Held, you can put that decimal in here. You would choose your state, your state withholding percentage, your city if you have a city that has withholdings, and the percentage for the city withholdings, and rate per hour. If you are paying your employees hourly, you would go ahead and put that hourly rate there. If you want them to, if you want them to get overtime, time and a half, if they're working 40 hours, you would check that box. If you don't check that box, then overtime rate at time and a half would not be computed. The adjustment field, this would be if you are paying an employee a salary amount, you would put that in the adjustment field. If you're doing deductions for 401k. And then the note section, if you just have some type of note, maybe related to their salary or something, you could put a note here. The billing rate, this is if you are using Adam for time and billing and your employee, your user has a billing rate, you would put that billing rate here. And then commission percentage, if you are choosing to pay your employees based on a um, percentage of what they brought in, you could put a percentage in there for your commission percent. And then there is a report that you would run, it's the commission's report, and that's going to show you how much money that employee has brought in, and it's also going to give the percentage that you need to pay them for their payroll. And another one that we have is the scheduler's commission percentage. This would be if you wanted to pay commission based on 
appointments that are set for brand new clients. So again, there's, there is a report, it's called the Scheduler Commissions Report, and this is going to show if you're, if you're paying a percentage based on the new appointments for new clients, you could put that percentage in there. Then again, you would run that report, and that's going to generate and tell you how much you do need to pay that employee for scheduling those appointments. And that's, you would go ahead and save that, and then now you have all of their tax and reporting information set up for that user. And that's it for the tax and reporting section. Thank you.